welcome to my channel uh, and today we are going to discuss about the required documents that we are need to have to apply for the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship, right? So in the last videos we have discussed about uh, the benefits of Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship. So here we are going to discuss about what are the required documents that we need to have to apply for the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship. So the first document, so you can see a motivational letter. So motivational letter means uh, when you are writing a motivational letter, so you have to explain your motivation for your desired master degree. So normally Swedish Institute is giving some sort of template and uh, then you have to follow the instructions of that template and needs to answer for the question that uh, the Swedish Institute have been asked uh, to complete your motivational letter. So we'll discuss uh, the templates of the motivation letter. So here you can see the template of the motivation letter. And here I'm using uh, the 2020 uh, motivation letter template. So there are uh, some questions available on here. Then uh, the your duty is to explain your motivation and what is your uh, motivation to apply for the desired master program. So you have to explain on here. And the, the next item is that uh, a curriculum video. So curriculum video so normally means that uh, a CV, right? So when we are uh, preparing a CV, then again, we have to use some sort of standard method in order to prepare our CV. Here, when you are applying for the Swedish Institute Scholarship, always you have to use the Europass uh, standard mechanism in order to prepare the curricular vitae. So here, uh, you can see the Europass uh, CV, CV template, so you can freely, freely, it's freely available in the internet, so you can type the Europass CV and then you can get the template, then you can fill that CV in an online method, then you can download your CV, complete CV through the Europe Pass CV mechanism. So when you are applying for the European countries, always keep remember to prepare your CV accordance with the Europe Pass CV requirement. So that means when you are applying for the scholarship in the Swedish fully funded scholarships, you have to have Europe Pass CV and then you have to include your information to the Europe Pass CV. Right. So the third item is uh, the you need to have two different letters of references. So it is recommended to have a reference letter from your previous employer or you can say your current employer. That means so you can have some sort of work experience from your company. Either you can have some sort of corporation, government corporation. So so you can get some sort of reference letter from your employer and uh, so he can recommend you for the uh, Swedish uh, Fully Funded Scholarship and uh, then it is recommended to uh, get some sort of reference letter from uh, some sort of civil organization, network, uh, likewise for, for an example we can say Red Cross Society, Lance Club, uh, Rotac Club, likewise or religious activities. So those kind of reference letters are very much important, to, important for you to apply for the Swedish Master Scholarship. So that means normally it is recommended to have one reference letter from your previous employer or a current employer and then it is recommended to have some sort of reference letter from some sort of civil activities, networks and civil organizations. Right, the fourth requirement. Fourth requirement is uh, the proof of work and leadership experience. So normally, uh, so you need to have 2000 working hours in order to be qualified for the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship. So you have to prove 2000 working hours by using the work and leadership experience templates given by the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship Authority, that means the Swedish Institute. So, normally, so here you can see the work experience templates which is given by the Swedish Institute to uh, fulfill your work experience category. So, here uh, you can uh, fill out uh, three kind of work experience up to three work experiences. And when it's come to the leadership experience, under the leadership experience, always you have to explain your leadership capability, leadership motivation, what you have done as a leader, what are what are your achievements, what are your targets, what are your KPIs, likewise, you have to explain your leadership capacity in order to get the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship. So you can submit three kinds of work experiences as well as two kind of leadership experiences so here are the templates of the work experience and the leadership experiences so you can download 
from uh, the Swedish Institute website so it is uh, it is available in the Swedish Institute website and then you can download and fill out and then you can uh, get the scan copies and upload to the Swedish Institute online portal right then uh, the final one so you need to have your copy of passport so normally when you apply for the foreign scholarships you need to have your passport right so that means uh, so you have to upload so the uh, scan copy of your passport to so the online portal right so those are the uh, these are the documents that we are, we, we are required to have to apply for the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship, right? So I hope that you have got some sort of uh, important knowledge to apply for the world famous Fully Funded Scholarship. So that means the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship for Global Professionals. So we'll meet with the next video that how to apply for the Swedish Fully Funded Scholarship with this kind of requirement, this kind of document, right? So goodbye. Uh, and uh, have a nice day we'll meet with the uh, next video god bless you all thank you